Welcome to a new vlog. Today I'm making a nice flexible extension lid for my TS100 soldering iron. Now I know many of you might not be interested in watching me build such a simple extension lid, but I think you could at least get a good tip on um, where to get this type of silicon cable. So I was uh, searching for silicon cable with two wires that came somewhat attached in a, in just a single silicon cable and all I was finding was double insulated silicon wire on AliExpress which was not cheap and at the same time I was worried it wouldn't be uh, as flexible and thin as I needed to be. Until someone recommended uh, in the comments I should try this uh, power supply wire for tattoo machines. You can buy this stuff from eBay or AliExpress for under $3 shipped. Um, it's about 1.5 meters long and it has these uh, two uh, wires which are stuck together and indeed it's silicon, it's very flexible. We're going to test later if it melts uh, in contact with the soldering iron. But uh, the wire comes with this 6 millimeter uh, audio jack on one end and at the other end it has uh, some kind of uh, spring contact which I guess looks familiar for those who have seen a tattoo machine. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB.com who in the past months upgraded their manufacturing line so they are now offering 24 hours turnaround time for prototype PCBs for the same price of just $2. Prototyping is now faster and cheaper than any other place, so it's definitely worth checking them out. If we cut away the phono jack and um, remove some insulation from the wire, we can see the insulation is pretty thick, but the wires inside not so much. Maybe this is similar to what you would find in a WG24 uh, size. I think uh, that's very similar. Now, if you're interested in ordering any of this stuff, I will be placing links in the description below to places where you can get it. I think this is just enough for the TS100 soldering iron. It's not ideal, but maybe just good enough. I just don't understand why they make uh, the insulation so thick on this thing. Maybe to trick you into thinking this is going to have more wires inside. I will be building my wire with uh, this 2.5 mm jack on the soldering iron side and with 4 mm banana plugs on the other end because I am using this wire mostly on the bench so I want to be able to connect this with my bench power supplies easily. Having the banana plugs on one end can also mean I can connect some crock clips and use an alternative uh, power source uh, on the field if I ever need to. If you were curious like me what was going on on this end because I felt there was some PCB under that heat shrink, well there are just a couple of uh, rivets holding this uh, this spring together and then there's the, the wire connected uh, on these uh, end contacts. When soldering uh, DC jacks remember to always slide the uh, jacket first and in this case we also have a strain uh, relief uh, spring but this looks like it's um, too small to fit this thicker silicon cable so let's see what I can do about that. So this was a pretty tight fit with this uh, strain relief. Uh, if you're in the same situation you can probably throw this away and add some heat shrink to act as a strain relief. It was really a pain to pull the wire through this spring. And now as for the connection, ironically I'm going to use the TS100 to solder uh, its own extension lead. I'm going to slide this uh, small piece of heat shrink in here. Now it should be ready for closing.
Now let's check which one is our center positive because the TS100 has a center positive connection. Okay, so it looks like it's this one. So this will be connecting to the red banana plug. Before we continue, let's check our polarity again. This should be positive. Yep, there should be no short to negative. And this should be our negative. Yep, that's pretty good. Let's also check if uh, this insulation will melt at 300 uh, degrees Celsius. Yep, it's really silicon. It's taking the soldering iron really nice. Like there's not even a, a mark left on this insulation. Yep, this is pretty good insulation for a uh, soldering uh, iron extension lead. As you can see, I have the iron set for 300 uh, degrees Celsius and uh, this is not melting at all. I, I can keep it there for more than 10 seconds and there's not even a mark on the insulation. So it's pretty good. And uh, for the uh, actual test, this is pretty much my day-to-day uh, -day, uh, bench power supply that I use. I'm, uh, I just wanted to have a way to connect this to the bench power supply like this and then have this plug into the uh, TS100 soldering iron and by turning on the power supply we have a working extension lead. That was all for today. Uh, a pretty short weekend video of me creating this uh, extension lead for the TS100 uh, soldering iron. I would really appreciate if you would hit the like button or leave a comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week.